Hey everybody, Jake here, and um, I have something a little different today. It's more of a, uh, a PSA sort of thing or a warning. Um, it's nothing to freak out about, um, just some stuff that I discovered with some inks. <clears throat> so Organic Studio, um, Ralph Waldo Emerson and Walden Pond, um, <clears throat> these two have a bit of an issue. I'm, I just checked Hemingway, it doesn't have this issue, which is strange, but um, I double checked it no problems anyway yesterday when I was I used this ink for the 30 day or 30 inks 30 days challenge for that day I put it in my twist bvac 700 well I noticed some issues when trying to get it open and even now it takes a little bit of a little bit of doing to get open and I found out why let me see if I can get this camera to focus a little bit here I don't know how well you can see it because of, the, of how dark it is. Let me bring the lighting a little closer. Maybe you can kind of see. You can see a little better there. There's a lot of crystallization and hardening going all the way around this. There's a huge gob of it right there. It's just solid, huge chunk of, of ink. Um, <clears throat> obviously, this is not good. The whole inside is caked with a semi-solid form of ink as well. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. This is potentially dangerous for your pens, which is why I'm bringing it up. Now, I will say, I didn't mention this in my review because I never had any issues. When I do ink reviews, I use ink for typically you know, a week or two consistently every day and see how it performs in the pen. What I'm showing you here is what happens if you would leave it in your pen for an extended amount of time. I haven't pulled out these inks in several months. And you can see some there as well. A big, big, big chunk of it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's this... That's all my hands and, and stuff are covered in it. Um, there's just a, a, lot of, a lot of ink there, and it's just solidified. This one isn't caked nearly as bad inside. Um, Ralph Waldo Emerson is by far the worst. I just wanted to go ahead and put this out there that um, if you're using either of these inks, especially this one here, please be careful. Remove it from your pen as soon as you get done with it. If you don't use it all, just put it back in the bottle or wash it down the sink because with as thick and as concentrated as these inks are and as saturated as they are, it could cause some serious, serious feed and, and um, nib issues. So just keep that in mind when you're using these. Um, they're great inks. I love them. Flow's great. You can check out my review. Adored them. But this is potentially dangerous for your pens. So I hope you haven't had any issues with any of this. I just figured I'd mention it. Alright, thanks for tuning in, guys. You have a good day. Bye.